Hey, what's up everyone? Today, I'm going to tell you why you should not buy AKG and 400NC. I did why you should buy this earphone in an earlier video. And to watch the video, please click the box at the right upper corner of this video. Okay then, let's jump right into our topic. The first reason why you should not buy this earphone is short playtime. On the spec sheet, it plays up to 12 hours with noise cancelling off. But this is a noise cancelling earphone, and when noise cancelling is on, the playtime is 10 hours, and that is 5 hours from the unit and another 5 hours from the case. That is considerably less than AirPods Pro, which gives 24 hours. To speak in behalf of AKG, 10 hours is surely a long time to listen to music or podcast. However, it is not long enough for long-haul travel. Okay, I admit, it is unrealistic to talk about long-haul travel given the circumstances these days. But still, AKG pitches this earphone for air travel as you can see on this box. Here, right there. In that... I think the playtime should be at least 14 hours, and that is 40% bump from current playtime, so I guess that is not something that AKG can improve overnight. And the second reason is, the case is too bulky and chunky. Compared to AirPods Pro case, as you can see here, AKG case is definitely flat out chunkier and bulkier. When I keep it in my pocket, it forms very unpleasant bulge on my pants or jacket. And for the reason, the way it feels in my pocket is terrible. In case of AirPods Pro, its case is kind of flatter than AKG, so it pockets very nicely and does not form any significantly visible bulge. But AKG case is fat and wide. So, when it is in your pocket, it does not feel and look good. I would say this is more of an on your desk item rather than a carry it in your pocket item. It looks nice when it's on your desk though. Third reason is also related to the case. The lid of the case is very prone to close. What I observe with the lid is it has a bit of weight more than I thought. So, when you move the case with the lid open, it will close by itself quite easily, just like this. Yeah. And another problem that comes from overweighted lid is the case wobbles when you open the lid, just like this. So now I'm opening the lid and it just wobbled. And it happens on and on and yeah, just like that. And what could happen next is the case could fall backward and you guys just you know saw that with my demonstration and when I see this happening it annoys me so much it wobbles when you open the lid and sometimes it just fall backward so that is a huge drawback of this case the last problem with the case is grip. When you're opening the case with holding it in your hands, it gives you extremely weird, awkward, insecure grip. The bottom half of the case, which you will put your finger on to grab it, is not big enough. In case of AirPods Pro, the bottom part is big or wide to get secure grip, just like this back and front. But in case of AKG, you can barely grab the case with your thumb on the front and index finger on the back. And when you're doing this while you're walking, you will instantaneously feel and think that you might lose grip on the case quite easily. And next reason is white noise. I sometimes use noise cancelling earphone to just block outside noise to focus on my reading or sleep. I do not play anything when I do that and when I do that, 
with AKG and 400NC, I hear subtle but very clear noise. It sounds like some weird noise that you have probably heard from static TV noise. Very low volume but loud enough to notice. This noise problem significantly downs my confidence on this earphone. That noise just sounds like a broken TV. And next, pairing experience. The pairing is not as smooth, fast, and intuitive as in AirPods Pro. This might be inevitable because there are tons of different devices in Android world, and the initial pairing experience was horrendous because it was way too slow. It felt like forever. And one funny thing about pairing is it sometimes still keep paired even though my earphone is in its case. It should be unpaired when the units are in the case. As a result, you cannot hear any sound from speaker and instead you will hear sound coming out from each unit in its case. To be fair, this does not happen very often, but when it happens, you have to turn off your Bluetooth of your phone and then it will naturally unpaired. I think this is a major problem and I do hope AKG will find a way to fix that. And next reason is there is a glitch on AKG application. The app shows your earphone on the display and let me show you what I'm talking about. So now I'm gonna pair my earphone with my Galaxy. So now it's paired and it will display my earphone. Yeah, just like that. So now it is showing my N400NC. Perfect. But sometimes the application shows you a totally different product. And in my case, that is N700 headphone. And when this happens, I cannot control ANC tuning, gestures, and other menus. It really hinders my listening experience so greatly. I deal with this problem just by turning off and on my Bluetooth. Last but not least, as I pointed out in my unboxing video, the left and right of each unit is reversed in its case. In the beginning, I got confused several times. I used to grab the left unit, then try to put it into my right ear. Maybe reversing the left and the right is the only way to accommodate both units in the case of this size, because this earphone has a huge wingtip, as you can see here. I think this is more of a getting used to issue, and if you think you will not be able to get used to this, then you might want to find another earphone. So these are why I think you should not buy this earphone. These are my personal observation and thought, so it may not be applicable to everyone. I hope this helps you to get some clear idea on this noise cancelling wireless earphone. Thanks for watching my video and thank you for your time as always. Ciao!